So hello YouTube, back again with another video, this time it's going to be a custom binding rather than a custom printing and most importantly it's actually about a custom blocking and blocking is something I haven't ever actually shown before on my channel so I thought some people might be interested in it. What I've done in this case is done a custom binding and blocking of um, Witchblade which is a series from Top Cow and these are from the issues released in the 90s, in fact it's the first 25 issues which are collected in these trades. So here are just some pictures of the original trays, that's volume 1, that's volume 2. Then there's actually a crossover with Darkness, for those of you that remember Darkness from the late 90s and early 2000s. And then the fourth one is this, which played Revelations. So we're looking at four trade paperback collections, which I then got bound into this. Now this is a hardcover. It's obviously got like a nice burgundy cover, and as you can see, it's got the Witchblade logo. If you're not familiar with that logo, that's the one from the Top Cow universe. Um, I actually drew that myself and got it blocked out. Now, what blocking is, it's having something stamped into the cover of your comic, often with a metallic finish. So you can have stuff blocked into a matte colour, um, but often most publishers get stuff blocked either in gold or most common of all, in silver. Now this was kind of a discretionary choice on my part, I thought gold would look better and this was a design I just really thought would look brilliant as a hardcover. So just looking inside the volume I've got some end leaves here which are actually based on the original cover from the first trade paperback collection and here's another shot of the collected bind itself. Again just sort of stressing that when you block something you can use any kind of colour you want. For anyone who's interested Please check out my Sin City collection where I get the Sin City dust um, dust jackets and slip cases blocked in a sort of bright iridescent crimson foil. So that also looks kind of cool. So jumping straight into a video of exactly um, what this particular comic looks like, you can see here I I'm slightly messing around with my camera setup and my lighting setup. You'll see I've got a fixed camera on now and uh, a different glamorous assistant to help me with the comic there. You can see there on the spine I've got Michael Turner's Witchblade also blocked on um, and on the back of the comic I've actually got nothing blocked on. I was tempted to get something done but the prohibitive thing about blocking is it's really really expensive um, and by that I mean we're looking at doubling the cost of getting something either custom bound or even custom printed. So if you're looking at $50 or £50 for getting something bound you look at the same again just for getting some blocking done that's equivalent to the sort of blocking I've got done there. The thing about blocking is the larger the image and the more the block, um, the more it will actually cost because the more material, the more lead, the more the sort of gold paint that's involved in making the block and then stamping out the um, the metallic embossing. You'll see here I'm just sort of highlighting a couple of pages within the collection which to be honest I shouldn't really have got bound. Um, I just got the trade paper box bound in full just by taking the covers off and getting everything bound in one go. I hadn't really thought about it or exercised the sort of care that I do now with my custom binding and custom prints. So although this is one of my very early custom bindings, um, it's actually not perfect. And there's a couple of little things that in retrospect I would have changed. Um, but I guess a cautionary tale for everyone when they're binding something, just have a good careful look at what's actually involved and make sure every single page isn't a wasted page or else you'll be adding things to your collection or keeping pages within your collection that are just going to frustrate you in the future. So as you can see here, just sort of flicking through the comic itself, um, it looks good, I'm glad that it's a hardcover. First 25 issues of Mike Turner's um, Witchblade, which obviously he was the artist for this and it kind of launched his career. Absolutely love his artwork, absolutely love his style. The one thing that kind of frustrated me was issue 24 of this series um, for which he wasn't the artist and someone else was drawing it and that looked absolutely horrific and there's some images from it in terms of showing you exactly what that looked like. I really hated that and I was tempted not to include it but it's kind of integral from a plot perspective in terms of the four story arcs that comprise the first 25 issues and the 25th issue is Mike Turner's sort of landmark double-sized final issue on the series before he moved on to um, start the series Fathom. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about Fathom um, a bit more in just a second but I just want to give you another view there of the front, of the comic, of the side, of the back just so you guys have got an idea as to what that looks like. Now in terms of the um, the rest of this I just wanted to show you there the Fathom hardcover. 
Now that's actually an original Fathom hardcover that was actually made by Top Cow, and as you can see, it's got like silver blocking on the front, and I'll show you the spine in a second. Um, there we are, and that's actually the reason why I decided to get the Witchblade bound as well, mainly because I thought it would look good as a matching pair. The Fathom comes as that, it's a limited series made by Dynamic Forces, if you remember them. And I thought it would be really cool to get Witchblade bound in a way that actually um, sort of complemented that, rather than having just four pretty disparate looking trade paperback collections on my shelf. You can see there the spine, that's another bit of blocking, and again, although there's not as much gold foil and therefore it didn't involve as large a block being made, that was still quite an ornate, quite a complex piece. And again, getting that done just made it much, much more expensive. I cannot stress enough how much blocking will easily double the cost of getting something custom bound or even more than that. Um, and there's some pictures just of the end leaf, um, which is always nice to make a bit of an effort and put some extra thought into that. You'll see from my Marvel Heroes Reborn Volume 2 omnibus that I like doing that. And it's actually something um, which I think I'm going to carry on doing in the future. And here's another shot of the comic. Um, just with the cover and the blocking. So hopefully you guys found that useful, hopefully you found that interesting, um, and maybe it'll give you some ideas for some custom blocking you might do on any custom binds or custom prints you do yourself. So thanks for watching guys, that's the end of another video. Um, as always, please like, comment, subscribe, please share the channel more widely and share the videos, and as always, please support the channel by checking out my novel over on nogodsorkings.com or on amazon.com where you can buy it for your Kindle or your tablet for less than a dollar. Thanks a lot guys and until next time, stay classy.